This video from Casio Help, we're taking a look at tax rate programming on the SES 3000 register. Um, so this video presumes that you haven't set your tax rates up as part of your initialisation of the machine, so we're going to take a look at how you do that. I've then got two videos that follow this that show you how to assign those tax rates to different departments and also how to get the tax receipt, uh, the tax split to appear on your till receipt. So in this video we're just looking at the tax rate programming, so let's get straight to it. PGM key around to PGM mode, arrow down until tax setting is highlighted, and then CA amount 10 to enter. We've got three options in here. Uh, what you set up within these options depends obviously on what the tax rates are, where your till is being used, how the rounding works where you are, and also what type of business you are in terms of the calculation type. So I'll go through them step by step and explain what I'm going to do. It may not be that you do exactly the same, but whatever you do, you're responsible for, and this will show you how to do it. Um, so rate is straightforward, CA amount 10 to enter. You've got a choice of four rates. So you type in whatever rate you want for tax rate one. So I'm in the UK and our current VAT rate is 20%. So I'm going to pop in 20. We then also have a rate of 5% on a certain item. So I'm going to pop that in as tax rate two. I'm going to leave tax rates three and four at zero because I don't need to program them. But obviously if you need to, you can just hover, highlight the zero and then type in the rate and it will let you put in a percentage point. So you can have 2.5, for example. Just put that in to show you. Once you've entered all your tax rates, subtotal will return you back to the main tax setting menu and we can now go and look at the rounding. Cash amount 10 to enter and the standard they're all cut off. I have mine set to round off. You've obviously got a choice of two, choice of three, sorry, you can have round up, cut off or round off. I always use round off. Even though I'm not using tax rate 4, I'll set that so they're all the same in case I end up having to set it up in the future. Again, subtotal will save it and return me back to the main tax setting screen. And now I need to take a look at calculation type. Standard, they're all set to none. Um, mine are going to be add in. So if I click on the first one, you basically got a choice of two. You either have add on or add in. The difference is that if you run a pound through the register, if you sell something for a pound, do you want the till to add the VAT or tax onto the top of that, in which case you need add on, or if you want it to add in, if the pound includes the tax, which I guess most people would, then you'd have it set to add in. I'm going to choose add in because my business is going to be selling stuff to private individuals and they are going to be paying the price including tax. So I might as well set them all to add in so that if I end up having to add a third and fourth rate on, they're already set to the correct format. Subtotal to save. Subtotal again to get back to the main PG setting, PGM settings menu. If you're now wanting to assign tax rates to your department, check out my other video appearing on screen and you can stay in the PGM mode to do that. But if that's your programming done for now, then obviously key back to the reg mode. So yeah, feel free to check out the videos appearing on screen now. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel for more or you can visit casiohelp.co.uk as well. Thanks for watching.